Good morning everybody! Today we're playing Legends of Dota and we're gonna try to break the game. Well, no, not really break it, I'm hoping to avoid any crashes, but we're still gonna do something that is nothing short of ridiculous. Now, we only need three abilities for this. That's it! Three spells, nothing else. And those three spells are Dispersion, Bristle Bag, and a burrow, if I can only find nooks somewhere. <laughs> but with those three spells, we can do something that is just ridiculously overpowered. Um, just completely breaks the game in every fathomable way. But, uh, well, we'll get to that in a second. Now, the first thing we want here... Uh, actually, no, I don't want Ricky, but I do want Cloak and Dagger because I like being invisible. So there we go, I got our Nyx Assassin, and that's it. Gonna lock it. Don't even need any other spells, because we're just not ever going to use them. This is the entire build. Now, we don't even need the Cloak and Dagger. Cloak and Dagger just straight up isn't necessary. Now, what is the idea here? No, well, it's pretty straightforward. Damage reduction in Dota is one of the few things that just straight up stacks additively just straight up works on top of each other. You can't just put damage reduction here and put another damage reduction on top and all of a sudden you got twice as much damage reduction, right? Now, Bristlebag reduces uh, damage by 40%, Burrow reduces damage by 40%, and Dispersion reduces damage by 22%, which leaves us with a nice, solid 102% damage reduction. Now that means we don't take any damage as long as we are being attacked from behind and we are borrowed. Now, there is something in the game that we can abuse this with, and that is the Fountain. The Fountain in Legends of Dota is insanely powerful. Not only does it attack super fucking quickly, but it does have Essence Shift, MKB, and most importantly, Fury Swipes. Now, Fury Swipes is something that stacks up endlessly. There's no limit on Fury Swipes. The timer always resets, so you can literally build up infinite damage with Fury Swipes. Especially if you're attacking as quickly as the Fountain. Now, with our damage reduction build, 22% of the damage isn't actually just reduced, it's reflected. It goes to enemies around us. So the plan is, we're gonna go into the Fountain, gonna burrow into the ground, turn our back around, not gonna be taking any damage from the Fountain anymore, but the Fountain is building up Fury Swipes on us. And all of a sudden, we return infinite damage to everybody around us because, you know, that's what Dispersion does. And that's the idea, that's the entire build. Uh, as you can see, whatever Ice Wall, whatever the fuck this is, Avalanche, yes. it doesn't matter. We're just not even going to bother with any of that. And, um, and yeah, I'm just going into the offlane. I'm not even gonna buy anything else. All right, we're just gonna be in the offlane, gonna be invisible and uh i'm just gonna wait until we're level t level 10 all right now this is why i've got the invisibility right because honestly i want this to be a little bit of a surprise right i don't want them to to know what i'm doing i don't want them to see what i'm doing i just want them to all of a sudden realize wait something fishy is going on and well this is really the best way to accomplish that right so yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do here. We got our uh, cloak and dagger. That's gonna keep us invisible. And as you can see, I just spent my money on a ring of region. I'm not even gonna bother with anything else because there is one item we're going for and only that one item. And that is uh, a force staff. We don't need anything else. That's it. Don't need any other items. Don't need any other spells. Just the casual force staff. So, yeah, let's get to it, I suppose, right? Gonna be playing Nux Assassin here, look at this beautiful bastard. <laughs> well, it's kind of hard to tell, but you can still see that he's like nice and colorful. Can I just say this? I love my Nux Assassin, he's just so wonderfully colorful. It's beautiful. Alright, creeps are spawned, and uh, into the lane we go. Into the lane we go, and uh, yeah. I mean, for the first 10 minutes or so, we're literally just gonna be sitting in the lane, doing doing nothing, right? Just kind of relaxing, getting ourselves some experience, and, uh, you know, 
Keeping it, keeping it easy. What is this? A lot of stuns with multicast and witchcraft. An essence aura. Well, that's a little bit surprising. Oh, you can definitely perma-stun somebody with this. It's actually odd. Usually perma-stunning builds go for, um, you know, like right-click with the bashes. But that's funnily enough another, like, completely, completely valid way of perma-stunning somebody, right? With the witchcraft and you just kind of keep throwing stuns at them. Right? I mean, it's countered by magic immunity, but at the same time, what isn't? So, you know. So, you know. All right. This guy, uh, this guy is gonna uh, be 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 a little scary, but uh, we've got just a right-clicking lady over there who's actually got a lot of stuns. So we've got an IO who is disconnected, it seems. <laughs> Poor little fella. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. But uh, he's just chilling there. This guy's going for. Oh God, really? Morph agility gain. That, my good sir, is what we call a mistake. Like, <laughs> oh man. Uh, the funny thing about Legends of Dota is if you want Morph, right, the ability Morph, you actually have to use two slots on it because Morph Agility Gain and Morph Strength Gain are two separate abilities and that's how they are treated, right? So you gotta take both if you want to be able to Morph back into, into uh, Strength. And that's kind of, you know, one of the, the important things about it. Without that, it's just really not that powerful. Okay. Well, I'm still just chilling here, right? Like, they probably assume I'm jungling or something. That's usually the assumption. And you can see his silence is starting to get a little bit lazy with his denies. This is a thing that always happens, right? Like, everybody always wants to just be the guy that, like, gets all the denies even though there's no enemy in the lane. Nobody is. Everybody gets lazy. 100% of people. Absolutely. Right? Like, you can see he's missed, like, the entire last creep wave, even though at the start he was very diligent about it. And, uh, well, now... Now he's just kind of... Kind of, you know, denying when he doesn't have anything better to do. But it's not really, like, a conscious effort he's making. Not anymore. Which is nice for me. Now, we do need level 10. Level 10 is the important thing, because we need all of our abilities maxed out. We need Bristleback maxed out, and we need Dispersion maxed out. Of course, one point into the Cloak of Dagger for shits and giggles, and then the Burrow also uses one point. So we need level 10. We also need the... we need the Force Staff. Uh, without the Force Staff, it... what... what... Okay, well, I assume that was just a visual bug. That was still a little bit odd, though. Without the Force Staff, it's also not going to work because we need to burrow ourselves in like we cannot just walk into the fountain and burrow ourselves in burrow does take a little while um it, how long does it actually take it doesn't say but it's it's it, it takes like i don't know half a second a second something like that it's not very long however mkb is going to stun us out of it 100 percent of the time oh shit oh no he got sentries oh that's rude Come on, my friend. Why I gotta be like this? Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, I was trying to be an, uh, like a cheeky asshole here, but I guess that's that's just not, not really the best idea then. Okay. Oh, uh, that's, that's fine. This is fine, I guess. Kill him! Nice! <laughs> I actually got a kill. Sick. Fucking next level. Alright, into the ground we go. Just gonna be healing up. Cashly. Almost got our four stuff already. Oh man, I need some I need some levels, man. Oh he put a sentry down. Oh no! Oh shit. Down we go, down we go, down we go. Okay. We're gonna keep our back turned towards him. Seems we are good. <laughs> We're gonna keep our back turned. Oh, oh shit. No, they got us. Disappointing. That is very disappointing. That's fine. Antimage is getting some kills in return. I don't really care that much. It's gonna go into the bottom here again. By the way, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but this build is entirely one of your guys' suggestion, right? 100%. Like, 
I didn't come up with this on my own. In fact, I would never have thought of this. But you guys did. So, please, as per usual, feel free to leave suggestions for builds in the comments. I very much appreciate it. Because, you know, lets me do some new stuff. Alright, I always think that's awesome. I actually have another, like, completely overpowered build that I want to do too, lined up. Um, but today we're doing this right here. Can you not? Thank you. Alright, just need one more level. That's like two more creepers. That's really not that much now, is it? Oh god. Please stop. <laughs> Please, refrain. Just, just let me, let me, let me, let me, let me be, you know, let me, let me just be. That's all. I don't even, I don't even need any, anything else from you. I don't want to kill you. I don't want to do anything with you. I don't want to be left alone, that's all. Right? So, by the way, an important thing is you can turn around while you're burrowed. Right, that does work. So, like, as you can see, like, I, I burrow in this way, turn around, and I come out this way. So that does work, right? And that's like a very important thing here. Okay, this creep way should be enough. Oh god. No dude, I'm 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 vanishing. Goodbye. <laughs> no, my friend. I really uh, no no no. No? Okay, we got it. Alright. Okay. Alright everybody. Time to sneak around. Sneaky, sneaky, nooks, nooks, nooks. Sneaky, sneaky, nooks, nooks, nooks. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into the base. And it's going to be a little bit tricky, but, you know, we just got to avoid these red outlines. And it's going to take a little while because, you know, i got to be careful about this. So we're going to go in here, push stuff ourselves in. Good. Now we're trapped behind this tree. A little bit annoying, but that's okay. <laughs> Should maybe have taken a quelling blade along. <laughs> Oops. But that's, uh, that's, that's, that's all right. That's all right. I don't really, I don't really mind that much. Uh, I'm just gonna force stuff ourselves one more time, and get in here. Oh, actually, we're gonna have to force stuff ourselves again. I don't want, I don't want them to see. I don't want them to see, man. No, 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 no. I don't want them to see. <laughs> oh, they're starting to understand what we're up to. Well, that's that's fun. Okay, there we go. Now. Now we're gonna sit down here and burrow in. Okay, we need 10 seconds. Alright. He doesn't deal any damage to us right now. <laughs> okay, and in we go. Turn around. And he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it! That's it, we won! The game is fucking over! Cause you guys, you can't do anything! Like, yeah, you you think you can get close enough to like, do something about this? <laughs> okay, all you guys gotta do now is kill everybody on their team once. Right, that's okay guys, don't worry, we won, we won! <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god! Oh my god! Now we have a uh, nine thousand damage from <laughs> Fury Swipes. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh god! All right, <laughs> guys, go find the other two. There's two more of them. We gotta kill them so they keep respawning too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, I think we won! <laughs> so, so this might be... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! So this is very much a candidate for the most powerful build in Legends. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> this could be it. This could be it. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, maybe. 
you know. Uh, oh, by the way, we have like no stats. We are like 200 life. I guess I could buy like an Octarine core, but <laughs> the thing is, we're always going to have exactly no stats. <laughs> oh my god. That's okay. You gotta buy some Octarine cores because why not? Let's uh, just sit here and swag about a little bit. <laughs> How many Fury Swipes do we have? We take, we take 33,000 extra damage from Fury Swipes each attack. That's the thing, right? You see how often this thing is attacking? Every single hit! <laughs> Come on, boys, don't sit in the fountain. Go find that IO and get him in here as well. Right? Oh, there he is. Nice. Got him. All right. All right. It's in the back. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I, I mean, we, we may have won. Maybe. I mean, how many is that? 44,000? Yeah, Are we getting close to 50,000 damage? At least we now know that you can't have more than 920 essence shift at, at that attack speed. If you were to attack quicker, then you could have more, but yes. At this attack speed, 920, 920 essence shift is the maximum. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is obviously a high skill game. Very difficult. Oh my god, why?! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That is rude. I would go around the map and try to find him, but. Oh, he's dead. That's my. Oh, don't worry, we, we got this. You guys just gotta go, like, end the game now. Don't worry, I'll keep him busy. <laughs> I'll definitely keep them busy. So. That's that's it, alright? I'm just dead. I don't think these guys are going anywhere, if I'm completely honest. Like. I just don't really see that happening. I also think it's actually interesting that the, the side blades don't deal any damage because I don't take any damage. Didn't know that's how it worked. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that Ethereal Blade is just kind of rude. Oh, the Mirana! The Mirana, no! Where did she go? She TP'd! No! <laughs> oh god. Actually, I'm going to use this to get closer. Yep. Get closer. Now there's no way anybody escapes again. No way. The problem is I can't possibly turn around. Ever. Right? Because right now... I take 70,000 extra damage from Fury Swipes. <laughs> so if I were to ever turn around, I just instantly die, right? Even 1% even of that damage just kills me. I just die. So I'm just kind of stuck here, right? In the exact same way they are stuck here, I am stuck here. But what happened to the Aya? <laughs> oh man, almost got a hundred kills. Oh, he's free? How? Man. Now, uh, I was talking about how this is not actually the strongest build in the game. Now, you may say, Balmy, how could this possibly not be the most overpowered shit in the game? How? And to you, I say, magic immunity. I was cheating this match because I disabled magic immunity. Okay. Everything else was allowed, magic immunity wasn't. Now, why was magic immunity not allowed? Because magic immunity blocks dispersion. If, if magic immunity is allowed in Legends of Dota, 
everybody always picks magic immunity because that's a smart thing to do. You got to pick magic immunity, right? Now, if you pick magic immunity, you're immune to this. And this is where the one-shot build, the team one-shot build, I claim is the strongest in the game. That is where it's better. Because that build does not give a shit about magic immunity. That build does not give a shit about anything. That build does not even give a shit about Guardian Angel. Because it just straight up cleaves through it. Cleave is pure. Cleave doesn't care. Cleave just kills everything. And that is where the one-shot build would be better. Now, if magic immunity is banned, this is very clearly the most powerful thing you can do, right? I don't see how something could be scarier. I just don't. However, however, as long as magic immunity is allowed, this build is not going to do this. This build cannot possibly pull this off. And that's, you know, kind of, um, kind of the discussion there, right? Now, I personally believe that if we are going for the most powerful build that you could possibly do, you've got to enable magic immunity because you've got to enable everything. And if you enable everything, then this build is actually worthless. As in, it doesn't do anything whatsoever. But I do take 100,000 damage from Fury Swipe, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is by the way legit fountain camping in Dota. Oh no, sorry. The, the thing... Well, they got you gotta get quite far away from me because like even just the tiniest bit of... Oh no. They're trying to save them. They are trying to save them so hard. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> That's funny. Oh, there's the aisle. Oh, he's dead. Oh, man. Oh, I thought I was dying. No, it was the aisle. Oh, by the way, and this is also why these abilities, right, the last two spells don't matter. In fact, not even, uh, not even Cloak and Dagger is needed. The only thing we do need... Did I get him? No, I didn't. Oh, that's a shame. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna position myself closer to the exit. <laughs> this has now turned into a game of my Oh <laughs> This has turned into a game of my teammates trying to protect our enemies. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> Four stuffs. That is kind of rude. Yeah. Well, I, I, I guess I'm not really one to speak about rude, but, <laughs> 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 but you know. No, 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 no. Oh, he's got. Oh, he's got BKB. He made it. He made it out. He got a BKB and he escaped. Oh man. They did it! <laughs> well, that's what you gotta do, right? You just get the BKB, and then when you have the BKB, you get the Silver Edge, and then you just hit me once. Alright, and after you, after you hit me with the Silver Edge, I'm just instantly dead. Instantly. Because again, even 1% of damage. Even 1% of damage that I take, and I just drop immediately. On the upside, I do have 80,000 gold, so, you know. <laughs> 160 to one. Easy game. Easy game. 160 to one and one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a rating on the video. I would definitely appreciate that. Feel free to let me know what you want to see in my next Legends of Dota video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.